All right, now the obvious question, of course, is how did this phone hacking of Jeff Bezos, the world's richest man, take place? And is there concrete proof that Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman was in fact keeping tabs on Jeff Bezos? And why should MBS want to keep tabs on the world's richest man? Well, let's break down the technical report that lays out exactly as to what has happened so far between Jeff Bezos and the Saudi Crown Prince. Now, it all reportedly started in Los Angeles on the 4th of April back in the year 2018. Jeff Bezos and Mohammed bin Salman exchanged their numbers during a meeting at the dinner. They looked pretty happy and, and reportedly shared a very good rapport with each other at the time that they met. And the very next day, they also had a brief exchange over WhatsApp. As you can see, this was rather customary. This is what every individual in the world does. And this is what the two gentlemen have also done. Both men confirmed saving each other's contact number on their respective phones. And this was the time when Bin Salman was trying to cultivate a rather a progressive image of himself. He was effectively on a PR blitz in the United States and was being hailed as this remarkable crown prince with a vision for liberalism for Saudi Arabia. Fast forward one month and MBS then sends out a message to Jeff Bezos out of the blue. It's an Arabic video about telecommunications. This file was suspicious for three reasons. One, there is no explanation regarding what the video depicts. Two, it came with an encrypted downloader that delays forensic analysis. And three, the actual file sent by MBS was bigger than the video. This means that there was an additional component in the file other than the video. Now, these suspicions are further affirmed by what happened once Bezos received the WhatsApp file. The data outflow, this is where it gets interesting, the data outflow from Jeff Bezos's phone went through the roof. In the six months prior to receiving the file, Bezos's phone had a data outflow of roughly about 430 kilobytes per day. This is stuff that Jeff Bezos used to send out from his phone. This is typical for anyone with, with a phone. But within hours of receiving this file from MBS, the data outflow from his phone jumped to 126 megabytes. It's a, gem, it's a jump of 29,000 times. And the data outflow never came back to normal levels again. We're now going to tell you about two specific instances that seem to indicate that MBS knew personal details about Jeff Bezos. Now, details that were not available in the public domain until much, much later. On the 8th of November 2018, MBS sent a meme to Jeff Bezos. Now, this, of course, is a picture on the bottom of your screens. Now, the meme had a rather a distasteful comment about how arguing with women is like trying to read a software license agreement. The red flag here is that the woman who features in the meme resembles Lauren Son Sanchez. And it's the same woman with whom Jeff Bezos was having a secret affair. And this meme was then sent before the relationship became public. The second instance came on the 14th of February 2019. MBS sent a message to Bezos assuring him that there were no anti-Amazon feelings in Saudi Arabia. But just two days before he received this message, Bezos was briefed over the phone about Saudi's online campaign against him. Now, MBS's text seemed to suggest that he was aware of the briefing. Now, the forensic report also indicates that Bezos's phone may have been hacked using tools created by Saud al-Kahtani, which is a known associate of MBS. The Kahtani has been accused of running a campaign against the Washington Post and also of playing a prominent role in the murder of Jamal Khashoggi. The Kahtani later acquired about 20% stake in a company named Hacking Team. And look at this email from the Hacking Team on your screens. The highlighted part is a client request as to whether a picture or a video sent via WhatsApp can be used to infect a device. Now, incidentally, this is exactly what was done to Jeff Bezos's phone.